What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, and I wanted to do another six-pack war video because, well, number one, I haven't done one in a long time. Number two, it's not often that I get six-packs uh, for my clan wars. Number three, I used different strats for each one of these attacks, different compositions. And number four, they were both completely fresh hits, not knowing where any trap was, what the CC was, etc., etc. So really, really uh, uh, cool attacks in my opinion. And let's go ahead ahead and look at the first one on hit on uh, base number 22 and when I looked at this base uh, there was a lot of different ways I was thinking about doing it but I noticed that the queen was going to get so much value coming in from six o'clock and either walking all the way up to nine o'clock or walking all the way to three o'clock it's a symmetrical base so it really didn't matter which way she went but in this instance I wanted to come in at 10 o'clock um, and uh, just do it that way so I was hoping that the queen would walk from six o'clock to nine and then funneling with the king at 10 o'clock uh, with the baby dragon uh, sending the wall wrecker in at noon to get that uh, uh, can and wizard tower and expo compartment and uh, dealing with the CC I was gonna pull the CC but they were running a lot of La Loon so I was like I, I'll bring two poisons just in case it's like uh, something different where I have to deal with it and then coming in with miners at uh, nine o'clock when the queen gets up to that inferno tower so we'll start it off this way uh, and I was able to do it with just four healers uh, didn't have to invest that much in my queen walk because uh, there's not too many point defenses this queen is going to be under at any given time. So using a wizard there to funnel uh, that town hall and then hopefully gets to the uh, gold storage and has the queen walk up. And then I'm using a minion at uh, 7 or 8 o'clock at that dark elixir drill because I want to make sure that the queen sticks and hugs on the wall and gets all those point defenses there. At this point, I wasn't sure she was going to walk up, but she turns up there and then that's fine because that wizard's going to be able to get that uh, mortar and just have her commit. Now I've got the king and a baby dragon. I think with the whiz behind it at uh, 11 o'clock funneling for those miners and dropping the wall wrecker in there um, at uh, noon because I really want to clean that compartment out for the funneling of the minor troops. Queen's still doing her thing taking care of a bunch of trash buildings and I think there it is the lava loon in the clan castle poisoning the loon and I think I actually break the wall wrecker here because I really don't want it to get any further. I wanted to take out that compartment uh, King and uh, all those defenses are good enough and now I'm starting the miners at uh, 9 o'clock to get into that inferno compartment and then just make their way. Look at the core is completely gutted, so or not the opposite, whatever you want to say. The, the core is full. All the rest is completely gutted, so it's going to be a path directly for those miners to come right in the base. Just using a bunch of heals to get an OP healer switch here because that queen, she is just banging through walls, and she's going to bang through walls for the complete rest of the uh um, attack. She does have, she's complete full health and with uh, her ability, but uh, these healers are just doing so much work that I can really be a lot more selective with the, the last couple of heals that I have. So I use that uh, second to last heal there, but I get a nice minor split. I only have one, two, three, four point defenses that I have to worry, that the miners have to worry about, but I think I probably have 15 plus miners left here so just a lot to take out this base uh, they, they have to deal with a bomb and a skelly trap but that's okay because they're, they're sitting in heels the entire time and that's really the only thing I have to worry about is those uh, um, spring traps for those miners but just too many of them left unfortunately the lava hound has uh, gone on the queen so she's going to be stuck there I can use her ability I use the poison just for when I use the ability when the, they try to get away they'll be going flying right into that poison but she's able to take them out and really it's 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 over at this point I don't think she gets to the um, maybe she does. I don't know. Maybe she gets distracted by a skelly. So it looks like the miners have to take out the AD. But either way, she would have been able to take that out. So it would have GG at uh, that point. So let's look at the last one. Oops. And uh, we'll look at the hit on number 24 again. Another fresh hit, not knowing what's in the CC, not knowing where any of the traps are. But we're going to go to our uh, basically our mass witch with a couple golems. I could have probably done this with one golem actually, um, and maybe a couple giants. But uh, I'm just very comfortable with this composition. I sent the wall wrecker in a little bit low. I wanted it to uh, open up that whole entire plus core, and it's not it's not going to be able 
able to do that. But here I get uh, a squishy CC. So I use the poison to take care of the baby dragon and Valks or whatever whatever else is in there. Freezing that Inferno Tower as the Wall Wrecker is coming through and the King. Don't have to use either of the ability. Freeze again the Queen because she does a lot of damage as well. And I really want that Wall Wrecker to push into uh, that uh, plus compartment. And it just gets a little shy, just a little bit. Um, so I, I don't open that compartment. So my king has to run all the way around into the other thing to get to plus. And the reason why I wanted to drop the... the um, the jump there is so it had access to the Inferno Tower. Unfortunately, my king runs into a giant bomb just as he's going into the Inferno Tower compartment. So that freeze was completely wasted. But but the good thing is my queen did have her ability, so she's able to take that Inferno Tower. And at this point, I really need to drop a heal to heal that queen up because those two wizard towers that are just taken out is the, um, the whole thing that uh, would have caused the raid to go wrong. They are our witch and skelly and everything else destroyers but with those out of the way i've got healthy valks coming through the uh the base just clearing a path for all those witches and skellies which is just fantastic tripping giant bombs tanking for the uh point defenses so they're just doing absolute uh, work there just it's fantastic really helping this out the witches go ahead and get their own split they're going to do their own things go on their semi-solo tours one a group of them are going to go south and a group of them are going to go north um and we, we've got, uh, I think, really just one splash damage. But the bomb tower does not do as much or is not as deadly as a wizard tower. I don't know if it's because it does less damage or whatever. But these witches take the bomb tower out much quicker. They do get down to extremely low health. But at this point, it's no big deal because we've got a bunch of uh, barbarians and skellies and witches that are come, it's just uh, completely uh, blasting this last cannon. And it is game over and it is GG for this base. So just wanted to show those two. We actually had a, a bunch of six packs this war. It was a really good uh, 10v10 war for us as a clan. I uh, wish I could uh, focus on all each one of them, but I did want to show these two since they were two uh, completely different attacks and completely different style of bases and everything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, I would recommend using both of these type of styles of attacks, especially if you're trying to fresh a base. If you're fresh hitting a base, I like this particular one, the Golem and Witches, a little bit better because it's just a, it, it it's a lot more versatile depending on what's in the CC and traps and everything like that. But depending on the style of the base, I like Mass Miner too. If you can get those miners through the core and uh, you're good enough to use this poison. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Use your friendly challenges to get used to these different styles and just practice them over and over again with the different compositions. Get those six-star clan wars and practice those three-star attacks.